which would be great eventually to have sunshine when you're talking about a golf event, but that's not happening until the 24th of June. So we still have a little bit of time to go. Sherry Pang is joining us once again from the uh, Crohn's and Colitis Federation. Uh, great to have you here. Thank you. Kyle Turris, welcome to our show. Welcome to the set. You enjoy Thank your little you. tour back there, see how everything Yeah, it's great. Yeah. It was neat. Pretty neat. Great to have you on board because I know you're the honorary chair for this event coming up. It has been so busy for you. I know we spoke not long ago about the big walk. Congratulations, over $130,000. And counting. So and counting. Yeah. Uh, and so it's great to see the momentum building. And one of the things that we want to talk about is to, is this scholarship that's actually happening. And then we'll get into the golf tournament too. Awesome. So we, uh, the CCFC and ABV are, um, have introduced uh, last year a scholarship for students uh, that are entering or have are in university or college, and it's across the country, five thousand dollar one time scholarship for people that are living well with IBD, and as we know, this affects a lot of students, uh, particularly in that eighteen to twenty four year old range. So we're really excited about that. I think the cutoff date is the end of June. Uh, it's on our website, ccfc.ca. But um, you know, this is a real struggle for students to live with and to have that, uh, you know, that extra money to maybe help them. And we're looking for students who are really, you know, really living well and, uh, and trying to get through with a good uh, attitude. So they'll just go to the website, they'll, it'll almost be like sending in a resume or sending in Absolutely. an application yes. as to being able to do this. Yeah. I mean, it's anxiety enough as it is being in, in a university setting. So yeah. to imagine going through that with it's having the medical issues exactly. as well. Exactly. So we have some absolutely wonderful students that received it last year. They were just so inspiring and so courageous. So we're really excited to have that again this year. So it's the uh, CCFC ABV scholarship program. Okay, something to keep in mind that you might want to go check the website and start to fill out the application form. Now moving into the golf event, uh, happening once again, there's an excitement building for that. Yes, June 24th at Rideau View, which is, as you know, a beautiful course. And they, they don't let in. They're very select no, they're tournaments very select. That, that, be able, yeah. that they're able to get there. Yeah. This is you coming on board now for the second year. So what's it like coming in as the honorary chair? It's great. I'm, I'm very thankful for the opportunity to be a part of it. And I, I got to go to the, the dinner last year and um, I got to hear a young man talk about his experience. He's in his early 20s and um, playing hockey and, and it was really touching to hear kind of how what he goes through and um, when Sherry asked me if I wanted to do it this year, I'd, I'd love to be a part of it. So I'm really looking forward to the 24th. Uh, this year, two people, everyone will have an opportunity to come and chat with you because you're going to actually be stationed on hold with, with your son, right? Yes. Yeah, so the two of you will be pairing up. So it's nice when, when every golfer has a chance to come in and, and kind of chat with you. Yeah, it's going to be lots of fun to meet everybody and, and uh, just talk and catch up and get embarrassed by Jake on the hole. <laughs> Are you a good golfer? Uh, not as good as him. <laughs> oh, that's okay. We prefer that your talents stay on the ice for as long as we possibly can see them. Uh, a lot of people will be asking you questions just about the team and the guys, and there's so many things. What questions did you ask, or what have you learned a little bit more about this disease? Uh, I've, I've learned a lot. I've been reading up on it and uh, finding out more and more. And uh, Up until last year, I didn't know much about it, and um, that was part of the reason why I wanted to get involved, because I, I didn't know much about it. and. Um, I'm sure lots of other people don't either, so uh, I'm in a position where if I can help bring a little bit of attention to it and um, you know help out in any way, I'm, I'm happy to do that. And you're saying too, we're looking at this age group, right? This demographic, exactly. this is when a lot of things start to set in and there's a, a, a different life ahead for a lot of people when they realize it that is. they're diagnosed with this. Yeah, it's a real struggle uh, you know, for that age group between 18 and 24. Uh, like Kyle said, the, uh, the young man that he met last year had uh, you know, a really moving story, struggled through his hockey, uh, you know, playoffs and uh, in, in, is in university now also. Um, so it, uh, it, I don't think Kyle will, has any idea how much it means for him to bring his voice and uh, his support to this disease, uh, a disease that we often don't talk about because it is an inflammatory bowel disease that uh, affects so many people. And I know, and I, just refresh us on the stats, because okay. I think it's staggering to know how many Canadians are, are actually suffering. 233,000 Canadians, or one in 150. So it's twice as common as MS, but as common as H I, uh, hepatitis. <laughs> one of those diseases, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. It's early here, <laughs> Leah. Yeah, come on, you're pretty good usually at the 650 slot. Yeah. But we don't, do you want to remind people, uh, the event happening June 24th, there's still a couple spots still for, couple for spots. some golfers. Yeah, and of we'd course, love to have you out. Anything. We'll have Kyle there. We'll have Big, brew, uh, big Rig Brew out there with some uh, samples. 
and uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Well, it's wonderful to see. And Kyle, thank you so much for the support. I think it's really helpful oh, too. Thanks, and welcome to that that start of your career where you're starting <laughs> to kind of come on board and being a voice for the community as well.